Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello and welcome to the show. It's been a day since Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi announced that the House was opening a formal impeachment inquiry into President Trump over allegations that he asked a foreign government to investigate his political rivals. Now that President Trump has taken to social media to air his thoughts on the matter and call the investigation a witch hunt, all eyes are on the reactions of his family and those closest to him, including his wife. However, while the White House characterized the inquiry as a political attack and nothing new in a statement to Elite Daily, the First Lady went in a different, quieter direction. Melania Trump's Instagram after the impeachment inquiry announcement shows she's choosing to stay mum on the topic because she completely avoided the subject in her latest social media post. On Tuesday, September the 24th, the First Lady of the United States appeared to sidestep the latest controversy to hit the Trump administration by sharing several black and white photos of her and her husband's appearance at the United Nations General Assembly. The president had attended the event at the UN headquarters in New York City earlier on September the 24th, where he gave a speech to the assembled national leaders promoting his nationalist philosophy. The First Lady's posts celebrated the event with minimal commentary. At POTUS and at FLOTUS, hashtag UNGA2019, she captioned the collage, which shows two photos of her at the event with Trump, as well as an image of her in the crowd watching him speak. Her post made no mention of the biggest news story in Washington, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's announcement of an official impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. Even though the House of Representatives is conducting a formal impeachment inquiry in light of allegations that the President asked Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to investigate his political opponent and 2020 presidential candidate, Vice President Joe Biden, the First Lady made no mention of it in her post. While talking to reporters about a whistleblower's complaint in part regarding the call, Trump called the claim ridiculous, but admitted to talking to Zelensky about Biden. A non-verbatim transcript of the call released by the White House confirmed that the two discussed Biden, but Trump has denied misconduct. Meanwhile, White House Press and Stephanie Secretary Stephanie Grisham said in a statement to Elite Daily that the Democrats' inquiry was an attempt to weaponize politics and was nothing new. Elite Daily previously reached out to Biden for comment on Trump's remarks and the call, but did not hear back by the time of publication. Today, I'm announcing the House of Representatives is moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry, Pelosi said on Tuesday. I'm directing our six committees to proceed with their investigations under the umbrella of impeachment inquiry. In response, the president dubbed the inquiry the single greatest witch hunt in American history in a flurry of tweets. However, House Democrats and some Republicans have taken a decidedly different approach to the contents of the non-verbatim transcript. The release of the notes of the call by the White House confirms that the President engaged in behaviour that undermines the integrity of our elections, the dignity of the office he holds, and our national security, Pelosi said in a statement following the publication of the transcript. For now, it sounds like the First Lady and some in Trump's camp are choosing to stay mum on the controversy, with Flotus even diverting attention away from the whole ordeal. But only time will tell whether they break their silence as more details in the whistleblower's official testimony is released in the next few days. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.